So let's give you an example of why many coders absolutely hate PHP. As discussed before, when you create and set a variable, you do not have to declare what that variable is. So in many programming languages, you have to declare whether it's an int, whether it's a char, whether it's a string, whether it's a bool, whether it's a float, and many other different t data types. In PHP, you can simply create the variable and then set it to whatever you wanted to set it to. So if you want to set a variable to be a string, if you want to set a variable to be a float, if you want to set a variable to be a, an integer, you don't have to declare that beforehand. And so the issue with that is that PHP then does not know what a variable is supposed to be. So it simply knows the variable name and it knows what value you have set the variable to, but it doesn't know if it's supposed to be a word, if it's supposed to be a string, if it's supposed to be an integer, if it's supposed to be a float. And so therefore you will not get errors if you do something stupid. So that's one of the things with a lot of other programming languages. It can be very frustrating to new coders because they will get a lot of errors, but the value of those errors is, is that you get the error that information isn't actually processed. So one of the, the big problems, especially if you have applications that put information into a database, is the one thing you don't want to have happen is you don't want bad data going into the database. So what happens if you screw up when you're plugging in your variables and then you get some kind of weird output when you try to add those variables together or divide or do some kind of mathematics against the variables what you want is you want your code to error out so you know there's a problem there you don't want to be able to add a string to an integer you don't want to be able to you try to to add an integer and a string together and get an output because that would just come out as garbage one of the issues you have in PHP is that can happen you can accidentally try to add an integer to a string and then if you're outputting that into your database then that information is going to your database and then that is going to corrupt the information in the database and basically make it worthless so that's one of the big problems that coders have with php is it simply doesn't error out the way that a lot of other programming languages do which means you can get in there and it makes it a lot a lot faster for you to be able to code but you can create some absolutely garbage code when you do. So let's go over to the computer so I can show you what some of this garbage code can look like and I can show you the outputs to show why this can be dangerous in PHP. So this is a script that I've, I've created that I simply call garbage.php. Uh, so it looks a lot like the, uh, the script that I created for the previous uh, video, uh, where I created the string, the int, and the float variables. The difference here is I'm now going to be adding some of the variables together, and I'm going to show you what the issues are. So of course, we start by, uh, by calling php. Then we come down and we're going to create the variables like we did before, a variable for string, a variable for int, a variable for float. The string is hello world, the int is simply 1, and the float is 2.2. Now, as I talked about before, one of the things to remember with variables in PHP is that capitalization matters. So lowercase float is different. It is literally different than uppercase float. So if you had uppercase F, lowercase L-O-A-T, that would diff be different than either of these two. If you had lowercase F-L-O-A and then had uppercase T, that would be different. So remember, capitalization matters. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a variable, so dollar sign, and we're going to create a variable called garbage, since uh, we're going to be using this as a garbage variable. And then we're going to make it equal to to if we add dollar sign uppercase float plus integer. So we're going to keep the int. So int looks exactly like the int variable. And so basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding the int, the value of int, to float all uppercase. We're going to show you what that value is. Then the next thing that we're going to do, and this is one thing that can't be done in a lot of programming languages, it would error out, is we're going to create another variable called garbage2. And so garbage2, we're going to make that equal to string plus int. So the value of int is 1, the value of string is hello world. 
So this shouldn't happen. This should error out in programming languages. And so it's important to understand that if it doesn't error out, if you actually get a value, and if you're creating a script that dumps that value, again, into something like a database, that can cause some very big issues. So here, again, it's the same, basically the same script we had before to begin with. We are going to print, we're going to say string, and then we're going to print the value of string. Then we're going to print int, we're going to print the value of int, we're going to print the value of float, and then what we're going to do is we're going to print garbage. So h1 garbage, we're going to show what a capitalization error is and what the value should be. So remember, if we're adding float, if we're adding float to int, we should get 3.2. What do you think we're going to do if we add float all uppercase to int? What do you think that value is going to be? And then garbage 2, adding a string, so we're going to have a string hello world, and we're going to, to add that to int. Then, we're, of course, we're going to close the, the PHP. And with that, if we upload it to our server, we are going to see what the output is, and this shows you what the problem is. So string, as before, is hello world. Int, as before, is 1. And float, as before is 2.2. So this all looks the same. We simply, we, we created the variables, we set the variables, and now we're simply printing out the values of the variables, and that all looks good. But look at this. So the first garbage, this is the capitalization error, right? So over here, this is where we did uppercase float plus int. What you're going to see is it does output a number. It does give you a number. So if this was in code, it's not erroring out, it does give a value of 1. So since uppercase float doesn't actually exist, that means the value of uppercase float is 0. You add 1, the value of int, to 0, and of course you get 1. So if this was some kind of database, you were adding things together, you screwed up with the capitalization error, well, now you just got zero plus whatever the other variable is that got dumped into your database. And somebody is going to have a very bad day in about a month when you figure out all your numbers are screwed up. Then, again, with the string, right? So in other programming languages, if you add a string to an int, that should fail, that should fail, but here it works. So garbage2 adding a string, again, string, doesn't have any value as, as far as being a number. So as, as far as being a mathematical equation, string doesn't have a value. So you essentially end up adding 0 to int, which is 1. And that, of course, gives you 1. So you see that it does set the value of those variables. And then you can actually call that, 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 that value. You can print that value out. And so if you're doing any kind of uh, script that's going to be collecting information, especially collecting a lot of information, this is where you can run into a lot of problems. Because imagine imagine if you're trying to average, right? You're trying to average. So you're, you're doing things such as uh, grabbing a whole bunch of uh, test scores or something like that, and then you're going to average them together to see what the, the, the average of the class is. If you start getting a lot of ones and a lot of weird numbers in there, that can really cause a lot of problems. So this is one of the reasons why coders dislike PHP, is since you don't declare what the variables are, you can end up getting a lot of mess as far as output is concerned. So that's an example of some garbage code and one of the problems that you can run into with how variables are used in PHP. This is one of those things, especially if you're using a basic text editor, you just really have to pay attention to what you're doing. Make sure that the numbers, everything looks appropriate. Check. Make sure the output that's coming out actually adds up to what it's supposed to uh, before you actually start putting this into production. Now, if you are using more advanced text editors, if you're using more advanced IDEs, they will be able to catch errors like this. But it is important to understand it's not that PHP is seeing the error. It's that the IDE or whatever programming environment you're using sees the error. So again, it is very important uh, whenever you're doing PHP just to go back, really do proofreading, really do editing, really make sure everything is how it's supposed to be uh, to make sure that the, the output that's coming out is correct. Because just because you get an output from PHP doesn't mean it's a correct output. And that is a world of difference when you get into the world of, uh, into coding, and especially once you start dumping data into databases. So that's really all there is to the to 
garbage code uh, when you're screwing up variables, and that's <laughs> that's why it matters.